Hey guys, so this is going to be a review, kind of, slash update, kind of. The reason why I say kind of review is because I'm not going to go in depth of like, car, car, correct, I can't fucking speak, but like it, going depth into specs and how it plays and stuff like that i'm more going to be talking about my experience with it how i'm using it um if i'm enjoying it and stuff like that so first off i have got a few games i've been playing on in the switch at the minute so i have Oct octopus traveler um i also have mario rabbits which i completed did a review on that and um i also have minecraft story mode as well <laughs> obviously i'm looking to get him some more games in the future and stuff i tend to just limit it to one game every time i get paid but yeah they're the games that i have so far so first off um i thought i would play it a lot of it actually connected to the computer to the computer <laughs> to the tv but i'm actually playing it more handheld mode which at first when i went into it, i thought you know what the only time i'm going to play handheld is when i take it with me um after the gym and i play some of it before i um go to work before i go to work before i start work because i'm actually at work i'm just waiting for my time to start you know because i've got there pretty early so i'm just playing on it but i'm actually playing it handheld at home as well and i think what it is it's just more comfortable now where my television is, it is it's on the wall. Um, I'm pretty blind. Even with glasses on anyway, I still prefer to see the TV close up and I don't have a gaming chair or anything like that. So I'm literally standing up. So it's more comfortable. I'm either standing up or I'm sitting down on the um what do you call it? You know how the end of a bed's got that like the end of the bed bit? I, I can't remember what it's called now not headboard because it's at the bottom of the bed you know the opposite to a headboard or it may still be called a headboard I think it's still called a headboard because yeah depending on what bed you have because some beds both um, sides look the same so you can just switch it whatever and anyway I'm going to call it a headboard I will sit on that but most of the time I will stand up and sometimes it's just not uncomfortable but sometimes especially after the gym I don't want to be standing up um, half the time I'll sit on that because I will get pins and needles in a intimate area when I sit on the headboard. Let's not get into it. But yeah, it just feels a lot comfortable just, just to chill out on the sofa. And plus, sometimes I just want to play downstairs. Like, not like I'm watching television or anything, but maybe I just want the atmosphere of sitting with family on the sofa playing them even though i'm not paying attention to the conversations that happen but i'll go downstairs and just hit it up and play with it which gets me into the battery life um which is people's big miss big like people's big you har of it is battery life so when i'm out i don't have no issues with battery life at all i'm not gonna say now bear in mind i've not played no proper like i've not played wolven wolver sign on it or anything like that yet so I've not played like heavy games that may use a lot more power, but so far I've found the battery power is actually all right. And obviously, if it runs out of home, I can just nip upstairs and plug it into the into the TV. That's how easy it is. Like you don't understand. Like it shook me how easy it was going to be. Like I literally don't even need to turn the TV on. No, I don't. So if I get the switch out out the dock and I'll turn it on and I'll put it in the dock it will turn my TV on for me and if it's on a different like line it will switch over to the line in which the switch plays on that's how cool it is I don't even need my remote <laughs> as long as the TV is on standby though it has to be on standby if it's not on standby then obviously it's not going to work but the TV is on standby that's that's how awesome that is so that's a feature why I like the switch. It's just easy, you know what I mean. Like if your battery does become low, obviously if you're out in public, it, it's a bit difficult. But when you're in the house and it's low battery, all you need to do is plug it in, plug it in, to slip it in to the dock, and then you know it's where it's left off. It's paused, and then you can just carry on your game on the TV. So that's what I like about it as well. Um, but yeah, and obviously, so far. Before I get into that, so, so far I'm actually enjoying it. So the battery life's all right for me. How I usually play it now, I usually play it 
connected so with the joy cons when i do play it on the television i don't have the joy cons separate obviously in case unless i'm playing just dance but even minecraft story mode i don't mind playing the joy cut playing with the joy cons unattached to the little thingy you get to it that turns it into like a controller i don't want to say like an xbox controller you know what i mean like a normal gaming controller um i find that <laughs> the more games like I've tried it with playing Mario Rabbits and it's like no. You know, more casual games like something like, you know, Minecraft Story Mode, I don't mind playing it with separate Joy Cons. With the Joy Cons separate, you know, I find it easy whereas with Minecraft Rabbits it's a bit it's a bit awkward. I'd rather just have it, you know, closed together. So um if you saw that haul I mentioned that. I'm glad I didn't or oh, did I mention in that haul? Um, no, it wasn't in a haul. I'm mentioning a previous vlog I think how I'm happy I didn't run and get the pro controller because as I said I'm happy with the joy cons attached to the um little thingy that turns it into a normal controller Um people's pet peeves with that was that you know if you had John and Wolf's hands it was you know a bit awkward but it's aimed at kids I'm not gonna lie Nintendo Nintendo Switch whatever anyway so I don't have any issues with that. So I'm glad I didn't rush to get a pro controller. But some of the pro controllers look really good. And it's like, should I just get one just because they look cool? But I'm glad I didn't rush out to get one because you don't necessarily need one. Um, And then obviously you've got that thing, Nintendo. I hope it's not true, guys. I hope it's not true. I only just got it this year. But the whole new Nintendo Switch out next year, it will pee me off. I won't go and run and buy bikes. I've just brought that. And it doesn't bother me if I, because people reckon, some, so the rumour is going, it's going to be a lot more powerful and it's going to be the same um, components or can play the same games per se on the um, the base level of a PlayStation, PlayStation 4, I think. Um, I couldn't understand when they have done it because I've just realised they've just missed the way they've just made the most successful thing ever and all they need honestly on a serious on a note though if it's gonna happen right if they release a nintendo switch next year and it's a lot more powerful and it can play base level like playstation 4 games that is it like it will outsell xbox you know like outsell playstation 4 that is my prediction and I believe that will happen. But yeah, it'd be, it's a bit too... To me, I think it's a bit too soon. Then again, they need to, you know... They've just made this amazing thing. I mean, after the complete and utter trash <laughs> of the Nintendo Wii U, which a lot of, like a lot of people said it was all right. It was just the marketing. A lot of people thought it was an add-on to the Wii and it wasn't. It was a completely different thing. But yeah, I reckon that was a hybrid for the Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, I think if Ninten if the Wii U was more successful, I think the Nintendo Switch would have been where you could play, obviously, because the Nintendo um, Wii, Wii U was where you can interact with the screen and with the, um, and with the TV as well. But, yeah, but that is my thing of the Nintendo Switch. I really enjoy it. I expected to play it more on um, connected to the TV, but I'm actually playing it more handheld just because it's just... You know, it's just casual and everything like you just play it whenever you want, you know. It's more casual as well, say, to play it handheld, like, say, you've got a few hours before the gym. You can just, you know, play it an hour or whatever, you know, downstairs after you've had your breakfast, you know, chill. And then, you know what I mean? So, I get what, why, it's, <coughs> why I play it more handheld for me, but just because it, I have a more of a busy lifestyle, unfortunately. <coughs> but, yeah, I am... Um, really enjoying it and I give luck to Nintendo because all I'm saying even if they have to pay a lot more money for it I think people will pay for that more money because to pay AAA games on the go you know even though it's not going to be as good as it would be connected to a television but if you, that opportunity to pay for a handheld that is it PlayStation, Sony, buy, and Microsoft buy <laughs> but <coughs> yeah so that is it for this video so bye guys